Right. Ready? This is Chris, and he has Hello. some voice issues. Yes, I lost my voice about six weeks ago. And uh, I was at a, an art opening, and I was talking really loudly because it was a big room with lots of people, and I lost my voice. About a week later, I still couldn't talk, so I go to my GP. She thought it was acid reflux, so she put me on acid blockers. Two weeks later, I still had no voice, so I went to ear, nose, and throat guy. He put a scope down my throat and said um, there was some inflammation. So he put me on uh, steroids for three days, plus some other stuff. <clears throat> but still no voice two weeks after that. So I go back to him again. He scoped it again and he said, um, no more inflammation. So let's wait a couple more weeks, keep doing what I'm doing, and see what happens. Two weeks later, still no voice. I'm thinking I'm dying of some horrible disease. So I go to uh, back to the same guy and he scopes me again and says, okay, well, he thinks that my, um, my um, epiglottis um, has got some spasm, spasming going on. That's where I am right now. What does this side say? That side says about the same as the other side. It's good. Wow. Yeah. Mm hmm And for you folks at home, this is a good place to learn the art and science of, of wiggling skin. And because you notice, what I'm getting here is the, the most important thing about what I'm getting here is the front edge of the, of the neck muscles here, the very front edge. It's right next to the windpipe. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice, see how I take skin from behind and, and bring it forward? But I'm lifting off as I do that. I'm lifting off and taking skin. Because if I take skin back and forth with pressure, muscles tense, right? Yeah, nowhere near as good. Yeah. So I really lift up. And there's a, the thing is, this is one of those places where there's a lot of skin to move. And so you, you, you want to manipulate that skin as, as, as much as it allows without, without dragging across it. Versus, you know, this is what I call short stroking. You feel some cards, but it's not as good, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is neckline number one. Mm -hmm. And as I scan it up and down, is it all involved or? Um, no. No? It's more towards my Adam's apple, I think. You, you direct me up, down? Right in that area, and right then closer to the center. Right Central. in here? Yes. Yes. More involved down here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. In a minute, I'll come. I'll come the other side and pull. Yeah. The, pull over right over the. And you can't feel any tension in any particular place or anything like that. The only thing I can tell is that I have what feels to me the, the decent stroke. Mm -hmm. And that's you know I call it playing the body like a one-time deck of cards. And again, I can find this deck of cards on anybody. And this deck of cards right here will mean different things to different people. Do those cards appear and disappear, depending on the amount of tension you, you have? Well, you can always play the body like a one-time deck of cards, whether you're young or old, hot dog or bacon. What do you mean a young or one-time deck of cards? Well, because the stroke is one time. Oh, I see. Pressure the stroke is one time. If you're going... Yeah, the pressure is just like rowing a boat. 
the, mm -hmm. the, you, you put your oars in the water, you, the stroke is one time, you take your oars out of the water. Got it. Yeah. And, and that, 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 that's mm -hmm. the deck of cards. Mm -hmm. And the only thing is, I have a deck of cards, and if we work for a while, I, you know, we're, I can feel tissue change going forward. You can. I'm just because I'm really just a glorified declumper. Mm -hmm. And if we work thoroughly, I'll, I'll feel some tissue change as we work. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Even you know, these strokes add up. Mm -hmm. You know, but there you go. It's not, as you know, it's not magic, but they do add up. And what is this saying? Stay here? Is it saying? Um, I think the center line Go is the center where line. it's at. Let's do it from the other side. <laughs> I feel that. Feel that. Deck of cards right there, right? Yeah. And it's right on your windpipe. Yeah. This isn't the this isn't your SCM anymore. This is right on the uh, right against the windpipe. And we can follow it up. And again, your is your is it say go up? What does it say? Um, I think it was better down where you were. Better down lower? Yeah. Right in there. Right here? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I can feel that. See, and this is what varies people. This is why we teach our clients to guide us. And it feels deep, right? It does. But it's not about gross brute force. I don't know how much pressure you're giving that, but... Not much. Just trying to roll it over that. Stay here. That's good. Try up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right in there. Yep. About uh, an eighth of an inch lower. Mm -hmm. And I hit it and you moved off. A little bit, tiny bit lower. Tiny bit lower. Mm -hmm. Grain of sand higher. That's right. Grain mm -hmm. of sand. That's right. We, we call it there. millimetering. There you go. Because <laughs> that is it. I'm telling you, a millimeter can be something or nothing. You're the only one that knows. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. I couldn't tell. I think that's good. Good? Yeah. So here's my voice now after some massage on my neck. It feels stronger. You do sound, it does sound stronger. It does sound stronger. It's like you, you said your voice sounded weak to start. Yeah. And it's not as raspy. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Well, and then I think if I did it a little bit myself, Although it's not going to be as good as when you do it. Yeah. That might be beneficial too. Uh huh. Yeah, it kind of feels normal. You sound, I think you sound a little better. As far as swallowing goes, I think that feels better too. Like when I, I was earlier today, I was like, God, swallowing feels weird. So it must have been a muscular thing. Yeah, muscles gripping, yeah. Huh. Uh huh. That's creepy having problems in your throat. I'll tell right? you that much. All right. Anyway, thanks, Brian. Voice work. Yeah. So I, um, I'm on my way out the door, and I'm surprised, and not surprised, but I uh, was just commenting to Brian how much better my voice feels. Like, when I first got here, I was kind of talking quieter, and but now I feel like I can project. And he just did some treatment in here. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Right? Wow. I yeah. feel almost almost normal again. Love it.